Hello everyone and welcome to this module of Game Theory. As we discussed before, Game Theory is an analytical approach for predicting reasonable outcome and the building blocks of uh, this uh, theoretical approach uh, are the following. Uh, it consists of players, their strategies and their utilities. So we'll be discussing about uh, how to formally define all these things uh, in this and uh, the following modules. And we will also make a distinction between what is meant by an action and what is meant by a strategy. So these are all keywords which we'll be using quite often in, the, uh, in this course. The, there are two key assumptions of game theory which we have already mentioned. Those are rationality and intelligence. We'll also make a formal uh, definition of, uh, of these two things. To start with, uh, let's take an example. That's the best way of explaining any idea. So this example that we are going to discuss is uh, due to von Neumann and Oscar Morgenstern and uh, this is a formal definition of game of chess. The purpose that we uh, discuss this example uh, is to see how we can actually formally say all these uh, properties, all these building blocks of game theory. So let's get started. Uh, I'm sure that you all know uh, what, is a, uh, what is the game of chess is but this description is to uh, make it more formal so that we all uh, can refer to uh, the terminologies in the same way. So this is a two player game as you know uh, there are uh, two uh, players one is playing with the white pieces and the other one is playing with the black pieces and there are 16 pieces for each of these players. Every piece has some legal moves which we are going to call as actions and the game starts with the white player and then players take turns and it will end in one of the three outcomes either it will be a win for the white in which case the white captures the king of the black or it can be a black win in which case the black will capture the white king or it can be a draw uh, in that case nobody has any legal moves uh, but kings are not in check draw can happen in multiple ways so both players if they agree to draw then it also ends in a draw and there are several other ways. Now the natural question that we'll be uh, asking uh, from a game theorist point of view uh, is that uh, in this kind of a setting does the white player have a winning strategy? Uh, what we mean by winning strategy? It means that it's a plan of all the moves such that the player, that uh, player in this case is white wins irrespective of what is the move of the other player. So no matter whatever uh, action has been chosen by player B, uh, white player is always going to win. Uh, or uh, put it in the, in the, in the reverse way, uh, can we actually ensure that B has a winning strategy? Or if they cannot win uh, the game, can they at least guarantee a draw, which is the next best. Now, I would like to emphasize that maybe none of this is possible. So maybe there is a game, uh, maybe chess is uh, one such game where uh, the white player does not have a winning strategy, black player does not have a winning strategy or they cannot even make a draw. It is entirely possible. So we'll be very happy to answer uh, uh, these questions from the theorist point of view. Uh, uh, also note that this uh, the, the, the fact that nothing uh, may be possible is not synonymous with the end of the game. We know that the end of the game will happen in only three outcomes, uh, white wins, black wins or it's a draw. But whether uh, for every possible action of the other player you are still going to win or manage a draw, that's a much uh, difficult question and also a much interesting question to ask. Now, we were talking about strategy in various contexts, um, so let me uh, focus on what we mean by a strategy in the context of the game chess. First, I'll have to distinguish what is a board position and what is a game situation. These are two terminologies, let's understand them. Board position is whenever you are in a, in a game, if you just take a snapshot of the current uh, game, uh, whatever uh, is being played, that will give you a position of all the pieces in the board and we will call that as a board position. Game situation uh, on the other hand is something like a history. So uh, uh, the sequence of moves, the sequence of board positions that has given rise to the current state 
which is also a board position, the whole history is going to be called as the game situation. Uh, just to give you a, uh, a context, the board position, the same board position can be achieved in multiple different ways. Uh, so the board position is not a unique thing. Uh, there could be uh, multiple ways to reach that. While the game situation is a unique thing, in one specific uh, uh, sequence of moves, a sequence of board positions will always give you to the, the same uh, board position and that uh, sequence will be unique. So let's denote the, uh, the current board position, uh, some board position with the notation x of k. And therefore the game situation is a finite sequence which starts from x0 and after a series of uh, board positions it comes to xk and uh, this board positions are such that x0 is the opening board position which is the first the, the way you start uh, playing the game chess and then uh, whenever k is even uh, then xk to xk plus 1 this move is made by one single action of the white player similarly if k is odd that is created by the same single action of the player B. Uh, it's much easier to explain this using a graph, uh, which uh, a tree rather. So we will call this as the game tree. Uh, so it starts with the initial board position, which is the X0. And then uh, the white moves first in this, uh, uh, that's the, uh, the norm of uh, chess. And it takes one of these actions. So actions here are shown in this uh, with these edges. One of these actions will you know, change the board position to a different board position. Let's say x1. And then it's time for b to move. And when b moves, it moves to a different board pos position. So let's say uh, if b takes this action, reaches this x2 uh, board position. Now the the game situation, as you can imagine, that uh, it is actually enumerating the whole sequence starting from the uh, uh, the root node to the node of our interest. So we will call that, uh, x0, x1, x2 as the board pos uh, as the game situation here, while the board position is just x2. Now notice that there could be a different uh, node in this tree where also x2 could have appeared. So board positions can appear multiple times in this game tree. But uh, whenever we are talking about game situation, that is unique. Now, what do we mean by strategy in this context? Strategy is defined as the mapping from a game situation to an action. So, if we are in a particular uh, game situation, let's say this node. Um, so, a node in this tree uh, uniquely determines uh, uh, a game situation because in a tree, uh, the path to the root is unique. Therefore, the moment I say that this is the node in this tree, it is uniquely identifying as uh, a game situation. Now, if you are in this in game situation, what is the action that you are going to play? That is what your strategy is. While actions are just these edges, the, uh, the edges in the tree. If you are in a particular board position, the kind of actions that you, the, the possible options that you have is the action. Uh, but strategy is the complete plan that's why it is sometimes called the complete contingency plan uh, uh, given any uh, game situation the strategy will automatically tell you uh, what is the action that this player is going to take so it's more general in that sense to define uh, the uh, the strategy of a player let's say the white player we are going to use this notation s of w uh, that associates every game situation like this. So this could be one game situation. Um, sometimes this is also called the, the game history. Uh, and when k is even, with a particular board position x k plus 1. So I can just take s of w and uh, give it a specific uh, game situation, x0 starting from x k. And it will give me an action. Action which will take me from xk to xk plus 1. Let's say that's the action. And you can make a similar definition of SB, the strategy of player B. Now what we can uh, notice is that the moment we fix this strategy pair for these two players, the white player and the black player, it determines an outcome. 
uh, at this point it is looking like you are giving these strategies simultaneously and the outcome is, is uh, obtained. Uh, but if you think closely, the, the strategies are telling at which point what action you are going to take. So uh, it is going to tell you that what is the action that the player white will take when the, uh, the game situation is x0, the initial game situation. Then whenever uh, the, the next game situation arrives, what the black player will do, that will be given by ASP. So and you, you, you can continue this uh, procedure until you reach a leaf node. Uh, which will actually end in uh, one of the three outcomes win for a uh, for white win for b or a draw so this is also called sometimes called one play of the game all these are different names of, uh, of the same thing and uh, if you just uh, think carefully uh, the the strategy pair uh, is uh, defining an outcome which is actually a path through the game tree of course whenever we are playing uh, the game of chess uh, the uh, yeah, we are actually tracing one unique path uh, you know, on this tree. Now the question rephrasing uh, what we uh, started with initially. Uh, so this is a finite game. Uh, where does it end? That is something that we are uh, interested in knowing. More importantly, yeah, can a player guarantee an outcome like the one that we uh, uh, asked in the beginning? Uh, can white player uh, always guarantee a winning strategy? This is something that we will be interested in. As we said, the game either wins, uh, ends in a win for white, or win for B, or a draw. So we are going to define the winning strategy for W uh, by this notation is W star, uh, which say, uh, which is essentially uh, defined as the strategy uh, for for every other S B. So whatever strategy that has been taken by the black player. SW star and SB, this uh, outcome will always end with a win for the white, right? This is something that we have just discussed. Now the strategy guaranteeing at least a draw for uh, W will denote this with uh, the notation W SW prime. And this is saying the very uh, analogous thing uh, for every strategy of SB, uh, every strategy of the black player. Uh, the SW prime and SP will end uh, in a draw or a win for the white player. And you can also define the similar thing for the black player as well. Now it is not clear whether this kind of strategies exist. So that's, that's the first question, existential question. So von Neumann way back in 1928 gave a very interesting result. Uh, one of the uh, most foundational result of game theory which made this uh, area interesting. Uh, about this game of chess. It says that one and only one of the following three statements is true. I am going to emphasize these two things. So either W has a winning strategy or black has a winning strategy or each player has a strategy for ensuring at least a draw. Uh, so two or more things are not possible. If you think through it carefully, it will take a little bit of time for you to maybe realize what is the uh, what is the impact of this result. Uh, there are you know, several other possibilities which were uh, which uh, could have happened in a game of chess, and it is ruling out all those possibilities. It is saying that uh, white may have a winning strategy, B may uh, may have a winning strategy, or both of them have a, a, a strategy of guaranteeing the draw. What it is not saying uh, is what, which, on, uh, which of this is true. So we do not know uh, uh, which of this is true. And even if uh, we know that, what is that strategy? It is also not saying that. So if we had answers to these two things, then possibly chess would have been a much easier game than it looks like. Um, actually, chess would have been a very boring game. So if you want to contrast this with a simpler game like tic-tac-toe where you actually know that uh, both these players have a strategy of guaranteeing at least a draw and you know how, how to play that strategy, tic-tac-toe is no longer uh, an interesting game. While well, chess is because uh, even though we know this result, uh, we do not know which one, which one of this is true. We also do not know uh, how, uh, what that strategy is.